Decades ago, Daru, who was still a little girl, woke up seven in the morning, holding her favorite dolls and ran to her parents' room to have their regular Sunday morning talk in bed. Most of the time, her parents were talking. She just lying in between them, comfortably and quietly, listened to their conversations. She don't understand most of their words, but she enjoyed this lovely moment with her parents. The next year, her father's business was getting better than ever. New projects kept coming in while he was working overtime to finish up the existing jobs. That included the Sunday morning. Daru still woke up early as before, just to kiss goodbye with her father before he's out for work. She knew she won't be seeing him until the next morning before school. She understood that her father was working hard to give her a comfortable living. The Sunday morning talk in bed is cancelled forever. Everyone say Daru is a bubbly talkative girl, but no one knows she's kept everything in her heart. What she thought, what she felt, and what she saw. The heaviest weight in her heart was the quarrel of her parents. Not just once, but a few, and more and more. She hid behind the door of her room, overhearing their angry and resentful argument. Just like their Sunday morning talking bed, she just listening and made no one sound. The only difference is, she's hidden from her parents. She hates the horrible way her parents talk to each other. She hates herself for being small and powerless. What she can do was locking herself in the room, doodling on her desk, and shutting herself from her parents and the rest of the world. Nobody noticed the changes of their room. She's still the same smiley girl who talk a lot when people's around. No one, including their room, noticed something was rotting in her. This thing parasitic in Daru until today. 20 something years later, Daru is unsatisfied with everything she had and disappointing in what she had done. She's full of doubtness and resentment. The negativity in her is transforming from an emotions to an actions, polluting her life and her relationship with others. Those close to her thought she has bad temper, but the real reason is the rotten thing in her. So, what's that thing? That's her inner child. The real original self who was hiding behind the door while her parents argued is sabotaging her life since the moment she abandoned the poor self in the invisible memory corner. Initially, nothing happened. As she grew up, the gap between Daru and the inner child expanding more and more. She forgotten this inner child, but the inner child never forget about her. The wound from her self-blame when her parents were arguing are influencing every decision she made and every feeling she had. The only way that Rue can be happy and peaceful is to reconnecting with her inner child. This inner child doesn't want to bring Daru any harm. She loves Daru and she needs Daru. Parts of her turn into harmful toxic, residing in Daru's subconscious. Those toxins fed Daru negativity. As a result, Daru is unhappy, resentful, and always full of darkness. As soon as Daru recognizes this part of her and accepting the fact that she doesn't have to blame herself for the unhappy memories, her inner child will be released from the memory prison and Daru will be able to find peace and happiness in her mind. Hi there, this is Levance. You just listen to my part of stories of this painting, Abandoned Forest. I like this new way of telling my own interpretations of my work and I hope you do too. So after listening to the story, can you guess my intentions for the background patterns and the monster flowers surrounding the little girl in the middle? Please share your ideas from the painting in the comment. I love to hear what you think and it's always inspired me to create my next piece. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. I wish you have a beautiful day every day.